So uh, women's standing event coming up. Andrea Rostwurz and Anna Maria Rida will be desperate to push Marie Boschet as hard as they can. Frédéric Terjean, as Stephen Jameson was mentioning earlier, double World Cup winner in Zagreb last week. Mel Pemble isn't here to just make up the numbers, neither is Alana Ramsey. And we're underway in the women's standing. Andrea Rothfuss from Germany. Nine years old from Freudenstrat. Debuted back in 2004, a Paralympic champion on the slalom in 2014 in Sochi. Just the use of the ski pole in the right hand. Born without a left hand. There was only ever known skiing like this. She wanted to come away from Pyeongchang with two golds. Eventually she came away with four silvers and a bronze. And she correct that here at these World Championships. Across the line she goes, then 109-5-1. Little wave to the camera. <laughs> and she gets to sit in the leader box. For just how long is the question? Second of the German athletes to go. Chasing down 28.43 over this first intermediate section. You see the fact of time at the bottom right of your screen very much changed from Andrea Rothfuss. Rothfuss's fact of time was indeed 100%, so it meant that the clock ran normally. Here, the fact of time calculated to allow all of the athletes with differing impairments and classifications a level playing field it also means that your average stopwatch won't match the time that Anna Maria Rida gets at the bottom of this run so factored by 86.11 percent oh and out goes Anna Maria Rida and that's one of the favorites gone in the very early stages it's what makes alpine skiing one of the most watchable sports on the planet because you just never know even some of the world's best can make a mistake let's have a look back just sliding strongly there and then just dropping down it's very innocuous but it's down it's out and from Bonn to Berlin oh, German spectators will be disappointed for us he gets the embrace from Loftus and I said I wonder how long she'll stay there well at least one more Frederick Terjean. Fred. Some people call it. She 
doesn't mind that at all. Been a hard start to 2019 for Frédéric Turgeon. Father passed away in the early part of the year. Spoke to at great lengths in Zagreb about that. And she just said, I'm getting out there and I'm just skiing at the moment. I'm just dealing with it. And being out there helps me deal with it. So, uh, oh, and down goes Turgeon as well. Well, we talked at the beginning of this program about Marie Boucher, if she's on her A game, she tends to win things. The problem if she's not on her A game is the rest have to finish. The rest have to put in a decent time and Frederic Terjean will be gutted, absolutely gutted at not making it down the first run. She struggled through that red gate and trying to correct herself for the left-hander into the blue gate. It all went wrong. So, so difficult to ski on the one leg. And once you lose that center of balance, you lose that racing line you wanted, you lose out. The face of concentration, the face of a Paralympic legend already. Not showing any real signs of stopping either. How do you solve a problem like Maria? I suppose. Twenty-four years of age. The last four world championships. She's only missed five gold medals. Just let that sink in. In the last four world championships, she's claimed every gold bar five. Three of those were in her first world championships. That's staggering. Absolutely sensational. And in the last two Paralympic games, she's won eight golds. Nothing says brilliant like Boucher, and she started tremendously as well, but the last two athletes have gone out. Boucher getting very, very personal with that red gate a moment ago, wiping it out of the course. But it hasn't hindered her, and this is the slippy section. We said this, and Boucher has just had to temper it a little. I don't think we've had the last of the drama here on day two. Across the line, it's a great time. 104.92. And a big, big sigh of relief at the bottom. I get the feeling this course might have more to say about this competition than the athletes themselves. Boucher leads. So, uh, the course being tended to for a couple of minutes. Uh, some friends there from Austria on the right, Germany on the left. The uh, Americans have planted a flag just to make us aware that they're here. The Austrians have got plenty of those though. It's a hard call, isn't it, that comes out and supports skiers that uh, it's not like supporting a summer sport, get the shorts and t-shirts on and hang around outside. These guys are uh, absolutely in freezing conditions, minus five out there currently. It's uh, a look at both Shea. Keep an eye on the bottom section as well of this uh, this run. She always, always, like any good skier, gets as close as she can to the gates. Nothing wrong with that. But that one there absolutely wiped it out. 
You've got to be careful not to straddle the gate, of course. A foot either side of one of those gate posts, and you are as good as sliding out. You're done. At this stage, he's already 3.35 seconds inside the time of André Rothfuss, and with Anne-Marie Rida and Frédéric Turgeon already going out, Boucher knew that she has to come down in a good time. There, there's an issue, and watch this next left-hander. Just starts to slide away a little bit there too as well. So the course itself and the conditions themselves hampering even the best. But Boucher does what Boucher does and leads the competition. Well, one Canadian and one German have bit the dust so far. Mel Pemble is next up to tackle the Kanskagora course. <laughs> Melissa Pemble, to give her a full name, just 18 years of age, actually born in England. Impressed them, if I remember rightly. Walked into Mel's parents out in Pyeongchang. So known as Melly in parts. Just dangling the right leg out to try and keep the balance on some of these turns. Two nine places and an eleventh place. Giant slalom was eleventh. With two already out of this competition there are big opportunities for medals here at these world championships oh and another struggle again same section that is exactly the same area that we saw Boucher struggle with just a moment ago and Pemble gets across the line though So Mel Pemble does get across the line. Alana Ramsey. Third of the Canadians there. One in and one out. What will their percentages look like at the end of Ramsey's run? Good opportunity. The 24-year-old from Calgary, Alberta. One eight two down on Boucher, and it's again the fight with the course rather than the opposition at the moment for all of these skiers. It hasn't snowed properly in the four days that I've been here in Kanskagora. There's plenty of it. We are scheduled some this evening. But for now, again another struggle and well Ramsey's held on that. That area of the course is the making of an athlete at the moment. Through the line she comes Ramsey. 774 back but my my she's just relieved to get there she was all kinds of sideways Petra Smarsova from Slovakia, Smatova, 28. Multi-medalist at both Paralympic and world level. The quest for a gold continues. It isn't looking good for the giant slalom here in Kratzka Gora. Four seconds 
already adrift of the great Boucher. But with Boucher amongst many struggling in the drop down to the line, just completing your run at the moment. Seems good enough because any mistake from anyone above you in the second run you've got to be around to take advantage here. He's where we've had the struggle and Smatova copes with it better than most, to be fair. Tucked in, makes it to the line. As many before her haven't. Smatova, 115-7-2. It's not the quickest, but she gets to the bottom unscathed. to Ami Hondo of Japan. Four seconds, nearly five in fact down at the first intermediate time. You can see that on the right side of your screen again. If it's coloured in red with the plus sign for those that maybe are uh, affected by colour blindness. The uh, red block with the plus sign means that they are over the time set by the current leader. If that block were to be green or with a minus, then they would be under. Again, Hondo, one of those athletes that has 100% factored time, so the clock is what it is. Oh, and Hondo again. Another that's having to fight the course to stay the course. But gets across the line. It's not bad. 115.20. She's gone into fourth place here. In real terms, one mistake from somebody above her, and Ami Hondo has the opportunity to win a World Championship medal. She went to the Paralympic Games. Kratter from Switzerland, 22 years old. from St. Galen. Debut in 2010. Saw a fair amount on the World Cup last year. You almost feel like you're waiting for this bottom half of the course. Nobody really struggling with the top half, Frederick Turgeon might argue that. Timing-wise, Boucher is where you thought she might be, well in front. And it's as they make this drop down now, this is where they come into the eye line of the spectators at the bottom of the course. The sun is just about poking through the top of the mountain here, right behind them. You can just see it shining on a few of the banners to the right side. Well, Kratter has dealt with it very delicately. And comes through. 119.88. Former laser class sailor at the elite level. This is Guo Xia Jin. Xia Jin, just 19. No highlights to talk of. This is a first major championship for the Chinese athlete. Skis for the Hebei province. 
The ambition is to make it to the 2022 game, so starting to collect some big event experience. Again, another athlete that's found her factored time unchanged. It's 100%. Again, another athlete that skis with just the right ski pole. There's to be no amputation in the left arm. Clearly only the ability to use the pole in the right, and again just getting wide on the left of that ominous blue gate. <laughs> on 20.59 for go. Zazic from Bosnia and Herzegovina was meant to compete at the World Cup in Zagreb last week, didn't on either day. Twenty year old born in Sarajevo, still lives there, only debuted in 2014 before heading off to Sochi. Always talks about the influence that her first coach had on her career. Sarah Dukovic passed away in 2016. Look at every race she's had and every race she will have is done in his memory. But he's always in her heart, gives her strength and the motivation she needs athlete with cerebral palsy so muscle strength is where the issues lie you often see the athletes with cerebral palsy struggling with the leg strength just there you see the wobble of the left leg from Ilma this might be an interesting section for her to hold on through but the, uh, the slower pace through that section of Ilma Kazajic meaning that she wasn't affected in the same sense as a few others have been. And across comes Kozazic some 21 seconds back. Kozazic takes a look at the final board. Sees Wang Ping Yun. Second member of the Chinese team. Again, just the single ski pole user in the left hand this time, opposite to Go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 20 years of age. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, ciao. And also another who is aspiring to make it to 2022, aren't we all? The Chinese team obviously finding athletes to gain experience over the World Championship circuit. Oh, that's wide. It's all really slower down. Two really wide turns into gates. Oh, Wang Qingyun. That is the final standing athlete, the, uh, the Chinese athlete just waiting in the wings to greet her teammate that smiles at least. Oh, there's the official results then. Uh, Mary Boucher is somewhere in front of Rothfuss and Ramsey. Hondo, fourth position, poised. If any of those above her are to make a mistake. The course seemed to have its way with a fair few athletes. It might have caused even more trouble 